how you guys doing this is my channel as always please like comment subscribe i know it's been a minute but i am back with a quick q a um just to answer some of you guys questions so somebody asked me how many schools i have it written down on this paper how many different schools um are there for international kids so here in las Vegas, unfortunately it's not that many selections there are only three selections when it comes to schools here um, if not, if you don't want to go to those three, there's public schools. So the three that's common for international kids is Little Miracles, which is school Ava goes to. You got Isla, Isla Academy, and you also got Ferro Out. Now, all of them schools are good for certain different things depending on your child. Ferro Out is more of like a, a field school type of setting, homeschool type of setting. Um, a little miracles are more traditional. You see that it does. We got a classroom full of kids, and Hayes, not Hayes, sorry, and um, Isla is like kind of like a mixture in my opinion, a mixture of the two. So those are the three options. If not, you have public schools. There's also a Catholic school too, but I don't know any expect that goes to that school. But my neighbor does. My neighbor, she, her daughter go to that school. And they Dominican. So I have to get the information. I get the information to that school. The name, I put in the comments. So if you're inter interested in that school, that's, you can look into the um, Catholic school. If not, you got the three that I just said. Little Miracles, Farrow Out, and Isla Academy. How do you, and the second question is, how do you enroll your child into school? So enrolling your child into school is just, tra is like traditional, like how you would do in the state. It's the same concept. You will bring your child um, all her, like your documents from her previous school, whether that's like report cards or a transcript. Um, you need your immunization records. You also need your passport. Um, and you, yes, your child can enroll into a public school. Because I don't know if you guys seen my video when I toured the public school here. Um, but yes, you can enroll your child into any of the public schools here with no issues. Um, next question. So I can't see y'all. I got glasses. I still can't see. Somebody asked me, how do I feel about the crisis of Haiti? Oh, Haitians, immigrants in the DR and its effects on expats. Okay, so. I'm going to say this. And don't take it no type of way. I don't feel no type of way about it. Um, and maybe because it's like. I'm not personally affected by it, and it's like out of sight, out of mind type of thing. Um, so yes, that's that's my answer. Unfortunately, a lot of like you know, a lot of Haitians here are affected because there is a lot of racism here or classism. I don't know what you guys want to consider it. Um, colorism, classism, racism, whatever you want to put that in that bubble. It is it is that here. Um, but I don't see too many people expects affected. There are expects who do get affected, but um, it's not all in my face where it's like obvious. So I can't say that I'm personally affected by it. No, I'm not. Uh, but I do like the, the the fact that America did like lift like a lot of policies, so Haitians can like easily go to America now, which is. I'm trying to help somebody go. I don't really know the con like the, the process. Like I looked it up. So I'm trying to help somebody get over there. But if you know, if you ever help somebody, a foreigner go to America, let me know the process because I don't have money for no lawyer and I'm not paying for no lawyer. But I do wanna uh, you know help somebody. Um next question. So this is question number four. The next question they somebody asked me. Going to Colombia how was Wingo? So if you're not aware, Wingo is like a, it's an airline company. It's kind of similar to like Frontier. Um, it's like a, or Spirit. It has that type of same concept. But what I like about Wingo is that you can use cash. Like, when I say cash, like you can use cash on the plane. That's why I, I like it. Like, it wasn't just Wingo, too. It was Wingo, and it was another airline, too. I can't remember. Is it Copa? Copa? I can't recall. But that's what I do like about, like, the airlines down in South America. It's like, 
you know how in the, sta in the states when you go on the airplane and you about to buy like sodas or drinks or whatever you gotta use your card down there you don't you can use your cash you can use cash <laughs> like i like that it's like a low budget airline and the flights is cheap and it's effective it does work there's no scammy thing about it but i like that you can use cash um somebody asked me about the coverage in the pesos to dollars or dollars to pesos so what i recommend is just using a conversion app i use xe conversion apps but there's tons of conversion apps you could use but after a while you start getting the hang of it so like for example 100 pesos is around a hundred is around one dollar 25 cents it's around, so basically around two two dollars um 500 pesos is around ten dollars and then a thousand pesos is a, a around a guesstimate around like 19 20 dollars as long as you like understand the ballpark of what you paying for stuff you'll be okay but starting off this use your app if you if you don't know how much things are but a thousand pesos around twenty dollars five hundred pesos around ten dollars and um a hundred pesos is like one one seventy five so basically two dollars because you know and the reason i recommend you just definitely use your app is to like um, did you get the hang of it? And because I encountered a few aspects that came down here and for some reason they didn't understand the concept of the conversion. So they was like tipping people crazy, like tipping people like a five hundred dollar pesos and I'm like, What? Like you and they're like, Oh or like a thousand dollar peso I'm like, you know you tipping people twenty dollars or like ten dollars. That's like a lot and you ain't even get that for bust some fries. Like what? <laughs> I'm not tipping like that. I might give you like that 50, 50 pesos or 100 pesos. That's if I'm being Yeah, because it's like, I'm. No, I don't really want to like that. Like, I don't really be eating at restaurants and stuff like that. And another person asked me talk about restaurants here. But the reason I cannot make videos about restaurants is because I don't go to restaurants. And when I randomly do go to restaurants, it's like random. It's not planned out or nothing like so hey i really can't talk about restaurants because i don't go to restaurants and lately i have not have been having no appetite for nothing so i just been really in the house but yeah, i can't i can't discuss that because i don't go to restaurants anymore i need to start going to rest well i know what i'm broke i can't go to restaurants <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to you but yeah, that was my question. That was the questions that I had. The other questions that people had for me, I already like responding back to them. These are people I didn't respond back, so I just made a quick video. And oh, next thing, somebody asked me where the next place we going to. We're going to Bali. So I'll get girls excited. I might not look excited, but I'm excited. We are leaving. When I flight in June, but we are leaving the DR in May. So we leaving next month. And if you are interested in coming here for the summer, let your girl know because I'm trying to at least my own uh, my apartment for three months. So if you want to sublease my apartment and rent it out for me, let me know so I can connect you to my landlord so y'all can rent it out for me. Or rent it out from me because we're gonna be going from May to September. And go from there. All right, y'all, so yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. It wasn't too many questions. I just need to just make a video and show my face because y'all be like, where are you at? But <laughs> I definitely uh, appreciate the support of the channel. And always please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and definitely um, like, put the like button and, um, and comment because that definitely helps with the algorithm. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.